believe it is uh, uh, one of the best trainings that uh, we've ever been through. Eh? I've been to a lot of trainings uh, and uh, I believe that uh, it is the uh, model uh, suits uh, the Toki Affairs body, uh, especially the leadership model uh, that is there with them. And uh, uh, so far we've been introduced to the uh, CLM, eh? Command Leadership and Management, eh? and how to differentiate between the three and also when to use models so that is uh, basically uh, one of the big things uh, and that is why I think uh, that uh, this training uh, suits uh, the Tokyo Affairs body uh, it also goes with the physical training uh, we've uh, come to realize over the three weeks that physical training uh, goes together with the uh, outputs eh? yeah. they've come to learn a lot especially with leadership They've come to learn a lot of uh, leadership models, uh, leadership skills, uh, leadership strategies eh, uh, over the, the last uh, three weeks. Uh, and also uh, for this week, we've uh, been concentrating on the map of military appreciation process. Eh. This is something that is very useful to the Rokuti, uh, especially uh, during the operations that comes with it and also the joint operations that the Rokotwis are usually part of. That is uh, a big uh, uh, task for us eh? uh, before, but once we've come to know, uh, now we are fully confident in joint operations, especially like disasters eh? and all this, uh, the Rokotwis are confident uh, of undertaking because uh, undertaking the, the next ones because uh, now they've been uh, equipped and every a bit of knowledge on what goes on in there. Uh, we will uh, continue to engage with RFMF uh, in uh, training our, our staff uh, and also uh, we'll see that it goes down the, the levels. Eh? Uh, this uh, training uh, because uh, uh, there will also be, these people will come up the succession line. Eh? Uh, so it stays in there. Uh, also we've been uh, Engaging with the, the TF Brigade, uh, there are a lot of TFs out there in the villages. Uh, so it is important uh, that uh, we communicate a lot and engage with the RFMF uh, so that we utilize uh, the people out there. The TF uh, out there in the villages, they are already trained eh? uh, so they can become, uh, the, they can become uh, our working tools out there uh, and assist us in the developments of the province. That's so fortunate. So fortunate to be part of this training course, uh, leadership training course. Uh, it imbues a system within us, uh, especially to know that uh, the operational routines of every day runs in the system, especially with the roles that we play back in the province. Uh, operations out, uh, well, uh, operations for us and uh, the, the military may be indifferent in some ways of de the service deliveries uh, uh, with regards to the customers that we serve. But the operational routines in the system, uh, to me, I believe that uh, it's all through, it's the same throughout. But one thing we learn is how to inbuild the system within you and work according to that system. Uh, just to interrelate the military servers, us working as a rock. For us, uh, it's like a battle, challenges that we have to go through every day. So we are also field officers, uh, uh, learning all the, the, the military syllabus. It, it somehow enhances us in the province. Uh, we go to different villages, uh, respective forums. There are different interpretations from the world uh, with uh, various influences. So approaching the Vanua and serving every day in the field is also like a battery.